pin. Put on my favorite hat. It's one of my hats. It's my wife's a designer down in Africa. Which makes her an African designer. Modern, you know what I mean? This is my favorite hat. Favorite. All time favorite. Better than any other hat that would have had. It's like, you know, and you know we are in the South. I can prove we're in the South. You know why? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Let me. I gotta, I gotta do my fish oil thing. You're supposed to take it. Hey, you know what I got? This is my grandmother's magnifying glass she used. She used to use it. You know, she have it in the Bible, you know. Like, I'd be up at, I'd be, like, every day, every day, six o'clock in the morning, my grandmother would be reading the Bible. And she wouldn't force on anybody. But I, I'm an early riser, so I'm the one that would be up at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> watching her read the Bible. And she wouldn't tell me to come over and nothing like that. None of that stuff. You know, she wouldn't force anything. She never forced anything on us, you know what I mean? She, I guess I guess she said she led by example. I mean, years later, I did read the whole Bible, whatever have you. In fact, that's a funny story, because I used to visit my grandmother every Sunday you know, when I moved out, you know, a long time ago. Anyway, so, and you know, she we'd have the same thing. She'd watch at like 9 o'clock, came on the, the morning mass, because you're Catholic, you know what I mean? And then, and then says 9 o'clock, this is in New York. And so, then what would happen? And she'd watch, she'd watch these programs again, but just be talking and watching the programs. Not really watching, but more talking like that. And then, like at 1 o'clock, this was in New York, so on ABC, WABC, whatever, the TV station, would come uh, like it is, which is like this, you know, Gil Noble, you know what I mean? Uh, Alame Brath was one of the executive producers of the program. You know, I know, in fact, his first, the first producer of the program, a guy named Doc, you know, who I worked with him at Negro Ensemble Company. He was a sound man for Negro Ensemble Company. I ran the lights. We did Daddy Goodness. He ran the sound. I ran the lights. But, you know, tragic end because, not tragic end, but he became a heroin addict. Anyway, anyway, anyway the point is, so Alambe was Gil Noble. All the stuff that, that Gil Noble did about Africa and all the rest of the stuff, he got it from Alambe, you know? And later on, and our paths always cross, you know? Alambe, I became Alambe's engineer at some particular point at, at VA, but I always, you know, we always, um, how you say, um, recorded their forms, like Alambe and Samori had these forms in Harlem all the time, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I'm taking this glass up. The reason I put that on, because I want to use the magnifying glass, Oh, it works so good. Sounds so soft, Joe's. Oh my goodness, hey, it works real good. It's like a small glass, but this works real good. Mm, this formula provides a natural concentrated source of the essential omega-3 fatty acids, EPA, da 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 da. Let me see, what, what's the dosage? What, what are you supposed to say? How many are you supposed to take? Hey, how many are you supposed to take? Supplement, blah, 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 blah. Uh, suggested, okay. Six use as a dietary supplementary uh, supplement for adults. Take two soft gels three times daily. Two soft gels three times. That's a lot of pills. Lot in there. So I think I took one this morning, but I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'll take two right now with my little sweet tea. Now, you see, the thing is, what you come to realize, especially in the South, maybe just the States, maybe it's every place in the world, but One, two, actually, in, 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 in back in South Africa, this is omega three fish oil concentrate. We use salmon salmon tapas over there. I don't know what's better. Anyway, so my grandmother's spirit. I can use my grandmother. Not my use my grandmother. You know what I'm saying? Have my grandmother with me while I'm here. I'll take this back to South Africa. I have to put a little case for it, so it'll be all right. Let me stay right here. Stay right here. I want my grandmother with me. Da da da. Okay, so everybody's scheming. You know what I mean? I was just reading the, the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing. You know what I mean? People know that thing is going to be so. Look, the guy was international. The U.S. media, you know, they'll they'll do their cover up because they're all hooked up together. Blah, blah. But you got to deal with the British people, and you got to deal with the French people. You got to deal with the Saudis or whatever. The, 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 you know, and, and somebody, you know, say it's, I'm a now I'm a crack a Saudi joke. To what? So what? You know, that, that's their tradition. Say, say, say they want to shut somebody up, and they cut off in their, 
you know, slice him up, you know what I mean? Like, like Jeffrey Epstein, take him out, like that. You think his wife or someone of his cronies are not gonna say, hey, spill the beans, France, whatever. Somebody's gonna spill beans someplace else and the beans are gonna be beating up and they're like jumping beans all over, Mexican jumping. I don't mean, I'm not, you know, he used to call them, jumping beans all over the place. And this stuff is gonna, as my grandmother would say, the truth will out, you know what I mean? It shall come to the light, blah, 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 blah. You know those sayings. Anyway, here's what I really wanna talk about. When they came down here this time, the, the Chinese bus people, they got it down to a pack. You know what I mean? They say they're going to be here at 5.30 in the morning. But guess what? They're there at 4 o'clock. So I'm up there at 4 o'clock. I said, oh, man, nobody will pick me up, right? So I stupidly put the, I shouldn't say that, I put the Uber app into my thing. You know what I mean? Because we had done Uber one time in South Africa. We was going someplace. It was really reasonable, blah, 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 blah. So I put this Uber app so I can get an Uber driver, right? Well, here's what happened. So, you know, I put the thing in, you know, you know where, where I'm at, you know, um, military highway, military circle, whatever have it, and I've got to go to, you know, um, you know, to, to um, Chesapeake, you know, and, you know, Port Road, whatever. And so this Uber driver said, give me the thing, da-da-da-da-da, this is going to be a driver. Now, when we was in Cape Town, you know, again, like, yeah, we was in Cape Town when this happened, we was in uh, Mitchell's plane. You know, they give you the phone number of the driver, right? So, uh, so the drivers, I get no text enough like that. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And then I'm just, well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. They have the phone, I'm calling. No phone, no answer, no answer. Then, then, then I get a text, you know, some, is it, you know, some, some address, you know, it's supposed to be Ahoy, is it, is it Ahoy Acres or whatever. And they say something else. What's going on? No, no, you got the, the with texting, you know what, you should know what it is. I put it into Uber, you know what it is. Then, then the guy, the the the, 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 the thing said Anna there, I saw it was a woman, whatever. But she's still not answering the phone. I'm texting. You know, they say, oh, um, they say, uh, uh, I'm at the place. You know what I mean? And it's actually at the destination I'm supposed to go to, right? And I'm going like, what the heck's going on? So I'm just there waiting, you know. And then a, a regular taxi, well, this guy, a taxi comes by. So I, so I said, look, let me just get in this taxi because I'm not. Cause this guy's all the way where I'm supposed to be, which is like, you know, like. Maybe well, 20, well, eh, say it's 25 minutes away. And so I'm going like, okay, so let me cancel the Uber, okay? Okay, fair, I cancel the Uber, right? I get in the taxi, the guy said, how much is it going to cost? I, I pay the taxi guy, da 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 da. Okay? I had to stop by a machine first because I don't have no money, you know what I mean? I have some, uh, whatever's the matter. So, It comes to, it comes to, so I paid it, you know, oh, the taxi tab was really good because this guy, he used to drive for Amiri Baraka at the end of, you know, at the end of his, end of his life, the, near the end, you know what I mean? And, you know, he's, he's about my age, so we talked about a bunch of things, Newark and whatever's happening, and I'm, they talk about, you know, how, uh, how, how uh, he, he would go down to Sonia Sanchez's house in Philadelphia, you know, and they would be plotting and planning, well, I'm not saying that, but the point is, you know, they're poets, you know, they, you know, poets get together, you know, they plot, plan, you know, Sonia, 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 man, you know, Sonia Sanchez, hey, get yourself some Sonia Sanchez, man, she is amazing, I have, a, I put her up on my YouTube channel, I mean, it doesn't matter, the point is, you know, so that was good that I had that, that, that guy, you know, I should take his, I should get, try to, I should have got his number, next time I come, I can call him, <sighs> mm, too bad. Anyway, so then I get this bill from Uber, you know, that, that for cancellation fee. Cancellation fee is almost like say say the say the the, the trip was gonna be twenty two, say twenty three dollars. The cancellation fee is like like eighteen dollars, you know what I mean? So here's what I figured happened. The guy, whoever's supposed to because he wasn't answering the phone, he was mixing up on a text like like it was some sort of you know, confusion mix up. But I figured it's a scam. You know what I mean? Not the Uber, not the Uber side, but the driver. He and it was here because the the next door neighbor said, "Yeah, 4:30 in the morning." But I said, "Yeah, that was me. That's the Uber guy." Blah 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 blah. I apologize to the neighbor. 4:30 in the morning. I guess he out there blowing his horn or whatever he was doing. The point is, so this guy ran a scam. You know, because he knew that that was the destination. You don't show up at the destination to look up somebody for the destination. You know what I mean? So somehow I don't know. Maybe he gets a little money, but maybe Uber. I don't know whatever it is. But I ain't using Uber no more. Look. I don't have to do all this stuff. I, 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 there's other resources out here. I ain't supporting something that that basically uh, Barack Obama put in place, where they 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 screwing all the people. You know what I mean? His people put in place all these 
all these rich people, they all need to be busted. You know what I mean? Did I put something in there? I tell you about what they, they're trying to screw Tulsi Gabbard. All these people, all these uh, things, they're, they're all hooked up together. Did I, did I, did I, uh, I'll be right there. Okay, ready? That's my sister. Got to go. Anyway, uh, when she's going, I got to go. Because I got to go pick my, my nephew because we're going and uh, my grandnephew. Blah, blah, blah. This bunch of stuff happening today. Anyway, that's it. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, Avoid these guys, you know, the, they got the, everything is lined up against the little guy and we the little guy, we being me, T, from the Patterson taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from ADS of the A-D-O-S. Can't mess with the A-D-O-S these days, we're coming after you.